learning to deal with it on a daily basis, that creativity is an addiction. We get up every morning and we got to have our creativity. We got to have it more than that cup of coffee or that Red Bull or Monster. Give me some creativity. I got to get through this day. So for many of us to get a paycheck. For other people, creativity is that place we go because we want to escape the realms of the real world. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Freakiest damn thing. And I know you've been in these situations. It just seems like the older you get, you bump into these moments and you kind of just cherish them in ways that at any other time in your life, you would not have done that. So yesterday, I'm at the grocery store and I see this gentleman, maybe late 20s, early 30s, come out of the spice aisle. And I went, wait a second. I know that guy. How do I know that guy? Why well, would I even want to know that guy? Uh, but I know that guy. Well, go ask him who he is. And so I walk up to him and I go, this is kind of embarrassing, but what is your name? Well, it's Ryan. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. It was the morning man of our radio station back in the 1980s. It was his son. I've not seen this kid since maybe he was five or six years old. And yet, all of these years later, my mind instantly, I mean like boom, knew that I knew him. That's what fascinates me about the imagination. That's what, it, you know, I, I'm just blown away by the way that the mind, body, and soul can just instantly bring something back. But if you ask me what I did yesterday, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ask me in 25 years. <laughs> hey, it's, it's Arrow. This is the choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. The Mega Millions, $600 million. I got to get me one. I, I, I don't do the lottery, but man, when it's $600 million, there's something inside my heart saying, just play it, dude. What, what do you got to lose? What do you got to lose? <sighs> Stop writing the story before the moment takes place. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do it. You just haven't given it a title, a label, a paragraph. Stop writing the story before the moment takes place. Your imagination and your heart are going, well, if, 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 if this goes wrong, what, what are we going to do? You're writing the story. Or, man, I sent in my resume. When I land that job, I know that it's going to be the great... It, it didn't happen. Oh, so you're writing the story before it happens. My wife, Lee, says, it's not about writing the story, but rather preparing yourself for what could go right or wrong. Okay, I get that. I do. But I also do a ton of radio show prep before every show. And in a really weird way, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm writing out how I would like the conversation to grow. I'm writing the story before the moment takes place. In many cases, the talks don't even move in that direction that I wanted to go. Something just naturally is shared and off we go in a completely different direction. I did that yesterday with Jamie Lee Curtis. I had all of these things that we were going to talk about, but because she's such an open, beautiful spirit, it's like, wow, let's just talk. Let's, let's have a conversation about whatever falls into place. See, and that's the way life really is when you want to truly live what's being shared with us. Something unexpected ends up on your path and you spend the next 48 hours thinking about every possible way that this could have, may have, should have happened but it didn't and you don't get any of that time and that energy back your inner core has not only aged but your entire mind body and soul has been weakened because of the anxiety and the stress we've got to teach ourselves to stop writing the story before it happens it's no different than living in a past that you cannot change is it impossible is it an addiction? Is it worry? Is it fear? Why is it that we either live in the past or we're trying to write a future that we can't control? Because if we could, then we'd all be living out the dreams that we had as children. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.